Uh, so Manoj, if not Zozo Day, what would you have done? I would have definitely been doing some sort of a startup. Uh, I am very passionate about uh, two things. One is uh, education. Uh, bringing education to the larger population uh, has been always a great uh, passion for me. And then maybe uh, doing something for the larger good of the society. Even if, uh, I mean, maybe I would have done it earlier or even after I get free from Zozo Day. Um, I would definitely do something either into education or into public policy and uh, something to do with larger social angle of, uh, uh, of, of the life that how can I help the larger population into something which, which might be a problem statement for many of them. Uh, so Manoj, beyond Zozo Day, I know you also invest in uh, small companies. Uh, so let's talk about uh, some of your key portfolio companies. I don't invest a lot. I mean, I've invested in some few small startups uh, here and there. Uh, I, I tried to invest, but, uh, but after a few months, I realized that uh, it's like a full-time job. You can't do it part-time along with your uh, regular uh, company so maybe um, I will do this uh, little more actively once I have little more free time uh, uh, maybe after a few more years but currently I think most of most of my time is is devoted to social media. okay uh, so the founders hustle culture says that okay founders often work uh, you know 24 bar 7 or you know they work uh, around a year so uh, is it true that uh, you work on weekends or uh, up weekend mein kya karte ho? Yeah, so um, I, I don't have a very fixed regime of work. I mean, uh, even, even if I'm on holidays, I make sure that I spend around an hour or two to clear off my emails because uh, at my position, I don't want to block some key decisions which are lying in my emails. So, uh, and then that also keeps me free from uh, the burden that, okay, there is a huge pile of work which is building upon, which you will have to clear once you go back. So that has been the way I have lived my life, whether it was school. So I was never a person who was preparing for exams the last day. I used to sleep during the exam days very well. I mean, and uh, I, I, I would generally see the rest of the world just just having night, uh, sleepless nights uh, during those 15-20 days of exams and uh, I used to be that exception across hostels where I used to have a very nice 9-hour, uh, 8-hour eight sleep. So um, that is how I have uh, generally been like that uh, do your work on time and that is exactly what I do. Um, sometimes in startups it's never ending, I mean you can continue to work across 24 hours, seven days, and still it is, uh, it is not finished. So uh, I, I kept some rules for myself uh, that, okay, um, I have blocked my calendar after around uh, six in the evening for my self time. So from six in the evening to nine in the morning, I typically don't indulge into uh, any rigid uh, work schedules. I, but if there is any uh, important call or something which is very important, I definitely get into it. But otherwise, I six to nine, I, I keep it for myself. Uh, similarly, there are some standard uh, uh, practices uh, which which I keep doing, whether it is uh, yoga, meditation. I I play a lot of uh, racket games and cricket, so I'm very uh, regular to. Uh, uh, all these uh, games on my weekends as well as on sometimes on weekdays and um, I sometimes hit the gym uh, do some running uh, and a uh, lot of time spent with family so uh, I'm not somebody who parties a lot or I don't even go out for parties etc etc I'm not very fond of eating out 
so most of the time is at home uh, spending uh, with family and uh, uh, i'm blessed to have a very great family a very large joint family so uh, it's it's fun to be together and then blessed to have lot of friends uh, we will generally catch up sometimes on the week weekends that was manoj agarwal one of the founders of zozo day we hope to bring you more stories from different founders of zozo day so stay tuned Thank you.